Hi, this is Lisa at Wild Eye Embroidery. Thanks for joining me today. And today I'm going to show you how to separate strands of floss. Now the whole part of the floss is called a skein. Now I'm going to show you how to unravel this first of all. As you can see at the top of the skein, there is an end sticking out. At the bottom, there is another end sticking out. You always work from the bottom and you can actually gently pull on this without taking your labels off. Next we're going to cut a length off the floss. The best length to do is to hold it in your fingertips and gently slide a length of floss right up until roughly the top of your shoulder and we'll cut at this length. If you cut any longer than this it can become too long, tangle and become really awkward and unmanageable. Now, embroidery floss is actually made up of six individual strands which can be separated. Sometimes you will sew for six but this would be more for chunky patterns. Sometimes you'll do this for chunky flowers or woven wings for example. Now what I'm going to do next is actually do this the wrong way. The reason why I'm going to show you this is because a lot of people do actually separate their strands like this and it leads to a lot of frustration, a lot of tangles and the nodding off your floss. So I'm separating into two. So in other words, three strands in my right hand and three strands in my left. And as you can see, as I'm pulling this, it's starting to tangle. Can you see why that's going into a knot at the very bottom? So I'm having to stop here so it doesn't end up in a ball of knots and I have to pull now with my right hand and hold a wee bit of tension there just to get those strands free. And I've been quite lucky this time, a lot of time can knot even more. Now what this also means is the threads don't lie very flat and I will show you that at the end of the tutorial to show you the difference with between doing it the wrong way and the right way. You can maybe see there that the thread is quite twisted and this is not ideal. When you're sewing you want it to be nice and flat. So I'm now going to show you the right way. So once again I'm going to get a length of embroidery floss from my fingertip up to my shoulder. Cut that. And now watch what I do this time. Instead of taking two or three or whatever number of strands you want, we're going to do it one at a time. Now all I have to do is hold this in one hand and just find one single strand and once you do that you're going to hold the other five strands taut and pull gently just on the one strand. Now it may look like it's knotting in my left hand here but I promise you it's not. So you can lay that strand flat and I'm going to pull another two strands but again one at a time. So one more strand on its own. And that may look like it's bunching up, but it's absolutely fine. Lay that strand down and we're going to do one last one. So one more time, pull your one strand out. And then I'm going to set aside the three strands that we don't need. Now, obviously you have three individual strands here and we need to marry them up to form one strand that we can use to embroidery with. The key here is to keep everything flat and smooth. Remember, if your threads are twisted, if you're doing a stitch like satin stitch, you need them to lie flat and that's why a lot of times people's threads will poke up a bit. They don't look straight, they get a bit warped, it's not ideal. So get your three strands and be very careful making sure that they're right length and they're starting to gather in one hand. And then what we do is put a little tension between your two fingers and just gently pull the thread, slide it through your fingers, just a little tension, and this is going to flatten the thread. Now I want to turn the thread over to the opposite side and we're going to do the exact same thing again, just lightly pull that thread under tension through your two fingers. I'm just going to pull this thread in front of the camera and hopefully you can see how smooth and flat that is lying. That's absolutely perfect. That's exactly the way we want our embroidery floss to be before we start embroidering. Now I'm going to show you the difference that it makes between doing it the wrong way and doing it the right way. 
So if you look at the top of my hand here nearest to my fingers, that is the correct way that I've pulled the floss out, the way of doing it smoothly. That's the way we did it one strand at a time. The bottom strand of floss is the strand that I did the wrong way. Can you see it's twisted almost like a rope? That will affect your stitches. They're never going to lie flat and they're not going to look as smooth as the top one. So that is exactly why you don't do it that way. If you find this tutorial interesting, don't forget to hit the like button. And also if you subscribe to my channel, then you will be notified when I release new content. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.